Hello, my name is John Zaktansky. I'm the Middle Susquehanna Riverkeeper coming to you today from Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Excited to bring to you the next and what we're calling the Study of the Susquehanna video series, which are hands-on cool things you can do with your families at home to kind of explore and get a feel for our watershed, even if you aren't able to get outdoors. Uh, today's experiment is going to include a large glass bowl and a small glass bowl and some hot water and some other ingredients. Obviously with the glass and with the hot water, you wanna be careful with kids and uh, kind of help them through this process. We're gonna start with our large bowl and add some hot water. I prefer super, super hot boiling if possible, which once again, you wanna be safe with, but the best results come from really, really warm water. Um, to kind of help us see the water and what's going on well, we're gonna add some food coloring. I have green today just because I happen to have green on me and uh, it matches my green shirt, so it's color coordinated. Uh, so how about that? Uh, we're going to mix in the green food coloring. We're going to take a little bit of salt. Uh, this is more so just to kind of give us a feel of what's going on at the end, and we'll explain that some then. You don't need a set amount of salt, just sprinkle some in. And as we know, salt in water is really easy to detect. Um, it can taint the water pretty quickly. And then we take our small bowl and simply sit it down inside with the hot water around it and then we want to take some cling wrap and seal this up as best as we can now some bowls are easier to seal with and others are not so we're going to do our best to conceal it to seal it down and not lose any of that hot water vapor that's going on inside there so to help us get the full effect, we also have some ice. And we want to put a hunk of ice kind of right in the middle. So therefore, we have this little contained water cycle going on inside here. We have the hot water. We have obviously inside it's going to condense, it's going to evaporate, it's going to hit our saran wrap and the saran wrap is going to act like a cloud where it's going to collect that water vapor and when it gets to the center we're going to have this ice which is kind of like a cool atmosphere which is going to help take that condensing and turn into, into precipitation and uh, we'll check back in this we're going to let this sit for a while and see what happens and we will check back and uh, let you go from there this diagram shows how water vapors evaporate into the sky, condense into clouds, precipitate back down into rain and snow, which then run off into streams and other waterways and eventually evaporate back up into the sky again. I wanted to see what all we have going inside. I want to be careful when we do this that the ice that we put on top, which has now melted quite a bit, we don't want that water dripping inside and tainting our results. Um, so we're going to be careful taking that off. But before we do, we want to tap our saran wrap, plastic wrap, membrane, just to get any extra condensation off of it. Uh, you can see quite a bit, there's quite a bit on top uh, of that, and we'll show you that in a moment. But first, we're gonna remove this first of two saran wrap layers. The puddle of water from the ice is still sitting in the middle there. Um, so we're gonna be careful not to drop that in. Seal that up. And as you can see, the water is coming out. Okay, and we'll set that aside out of the way. Um, there's the other sheet, and I'll show you. There's a quite a bit of moisture on the bottom side of it. You can see there's some drips and stuff like that uh, inside. Uh, that's all condensation, um, and ultimately condensing on our cloud membrane. And then as the ice um, cooled it down, it precipitated into our bowl. In the center, we have our glass bowl. Now there's not a lot collected in it at this time. The hotter the water uh, and the longer that we can keep that water hot, uh, the better the evaporation results overall. But um, inside there is a decent amount of, of water, just a little, at least a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it there, I'll get a different angle here in a minute. Um, but this water is clean water. Here's another angle of that water we've collected from our experiment, our water cycle experiment. You can see once again it is not green. If you would taste it, it's not salty. And um, 
Once again, this is how our water cycle helps recycle the water that's here on the earth and uh, within our watershed. So thanks a lot for watching today. We look forward to sharing more of these videos in the future. Uh, let us know how it's going if you're trying them out at home. And if you have any suggestions or tips, that would be great. And uh, we look forward to sharing another one soon.